Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to demonstrate how to install and run Genshin Impact on a Mac. So in front of me I've got my MacBook Pro 2019 and I'm going to show you how to install the game on a Mac. So if you follow the link in the description, you'll go to my video which is a tutorial on how to install Boot Camp. Now this is installing Windows 10 on a MacBook Pro and any kind of piece of Mac hardware, for example, a Mac mini or an iMac. And this will work on any Mac and it's completely free to do. Yes, that's right, installing Windows is free on a Mac and my link will show you how to do it. So once we are in the Windows 10 partition on the MacBook, what I'm gonna do is run the installer and then install the game as normal. So I've downloaded the installer and I'm going to install the game in its default location and we're going to see how it runs. So you can see this is the official website and it, the game supports PlayStation 4, iOS, Android and Windows and there isn't a Mac option here but it can be installed on Bootcamp which is Windows on a MacBook. So I can already hear my Macs um, running a little bit hot at the moment, you can hear the fans running, but that's probably just because it's downloading the software now, and we just have to wait for this to finish. So as you can see, the, the game's running quite nicely. I've got it here now on medium settings, and the frame rate's okay. I think that um, it would be better if we turned it down even further. So I've got it on medium at the moment at this resolution. I think if we used something like lowest, then that would be even better. Let's try that out. So it look, looks a bit more jaggy, but um, it feels a bit more responsive now. I think you can have a little play around and see which resolution and graphic settings work best for you. So as you can kind of see, the, the game doesn't run too badly. Um, I do have it on the absolute lowest possible settings. So um, under the graphics here, we have low quality, and then we have it in quite a low resolution, and everything else is kind of set low as well. I think we might get a few more frames if we put it to its absolute lowest. And that's at the lowest render resolution as well. So if we just check that out. 
it looks a little bit more jaggy because we don't have the aliasing on, but um, it plays quite well. Ooh, let's, let's do a little combat here. Definitely say that the trackpad is not the ideal way to play this game. If you can install a mouse, then that will work a lot better, or better yet, any kind of controller. But it does play really well. If I turn up the, um, the settings a little bit, let's just see how it looks. I turn this to medium. Still got a pretty good frame rate, and um, it seems to play pretty well. So my main tip for running this game is that you should definitely update the Intel graphics drivers because if you don't update them then the game will crash when you run it on bootcamp on an integrated graphics chip for sure. The other tip is that you should change the desktop resolution of your Windows bootcamp desktop to something kind of low. So here I've got a resolution set at um, 1280 by 800 and that means that when we have the window here set at the right resolution it's going at 1280 by 768 which is the 16 by 9 resolution and it's going to work much better and then the third tip is to stretch the window to make it work on the macbook screen because otherwise it will show a title bar and it will push the window down a little bit so my tip for that is to use an application called Borderless Gaming, which I've already run here. And what it can do is you can add it to the Borderless Gaming um, favorites, so it's automated. And what it will do is it will um, make the window fill the screen as if it's a full screen application. So those things make this really playable. I think the last thing is that this trackpad, right, is not really an ideal way to play this game at all. Um, it doesn't seem to register the clicks correctly when you're doing the primary attack. So I definitely invest in a mouse or better yet, get a Bluetooth controller and pair it to the game and it'll work much better if you play like that. As you can also hear, the, the fans on the MacBook Pro are kind of running quite hard and you can tell that it's... Um, it's getting kind of hot. I can feel it's getting quite warm. So you'll expect that fans to be running pretty hard as it's quite a graphically intensive game, even though we've got the settings 10 pretty low. So just be aware that it's, you're kind of pushing your MacBook quite hard and um, it'll get quite hot as you're running it. So anyway, I hope you um, enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please like and subscribe and check out my next tech videos.